Hello internet, welcome to another topic on information theory. We'll talk about information content of a symbol today. And it is also known as logarithmic measure of information. Now, if a discrete memoryless source is generating some symbols, then each of those symbols will, con will contain some information some symbols may contain lesser information than the others or vice versa some may contain more information than the others and this distribution of information among the symbols of a discrete memoryless source is is better understood by this topic which is known as information content of a symbol now over here I have a discrete mem memoryless system DMS with certain symbols. Now if I know the probability of occurrence of the symbols then I can find out the information content in that symbol. It is a pretty straightforward uh, formula to find the information content of a symbol which is log I'll talk about the base that we'll use here in a moment but the formula is pretty straightforward the information content of a symbol is equal to the log of 1 upon the probability of that symbol now if you understand a few important key points about the information content of a symbol then it will be easier for you to uh, do well in numericals for example you need to understand this fact from the word go that the information content of a message with a higher probability will be lower or will be less so the if if a symbol has a higher probability then the information contained in that message will be lower I'll give you an example of this if we talk about binary system which essentially deals with zeros and ones If I was to if I was to send only one bit then of course the number of symbols are smaller because I have two symbols now I can send only two symbols using one bit which is 0 and 1 but the the occurrence of happening of both these symbols individually is pretty high so they get a probability uh, of half and half so if you were to send just one one bit of information in your symbols then each of those bits will get a probability of half half which is a very very high probability but the information content has remained to its lowest possible value so I hope the first key point that I'm suggesting is making more sense now and if you were to increase the number of bits or so as to say the if you if you were to increase the information contained per symbol then you you have to increase the number of bits I take the case of three bits so using three bits you can send quite a few numbers and each of these numbers contains significant amount of information because as opposed to this system 
it is three times more powerful it is containing three times more information but the number of symbols have increased the number of information contained per symbol has increased but what has decreased probability of occurrence of each of these symbols has decreased so if this is symbol 1 symbol 2 up to symbol 8 then probability of each of these will become 1 by 8 so I again reiterate this point that the information content of a message having higher probability of occurrence is less and this is clear from the inverse relationship of probability and uh, information also but it makes more sense to understand when we take a practical example of a binary system and that is what the essence of this formula is the information content of a message having higher probability of occurrence is less than the information content of a message having lower probability so I'll, t I'll take up a numerical based example where a DMS uh, produces four symbols and the probability of x1 probability of x2 probability of x3 probability of x4 all of them are given as 1 by 2 1 by 4 1 by 8 and 1 by 8 if you put this formula to use now then I can find the information contained in x1 by using a simple formula log to the base 2 upon 1 upon probability of x1 is 1 by 2 so the base will be that numeral of the number system we are using if you're using binary we'll put a base 2 if you're using a decimal we'll put a base 10 etc and if you calculate this information content of a symbol with a probability 1 by 2 it will come out to be 1 bit and similarly putting this the probability of x2 is 1 by 4 so I'll, I'll use a 1 upon 1 by 4 which gives me 2 bits and similarly x3 1 upon 1 by 8 gives me 3 bits and that will be the same for information of x4 also so this again confirms the confirms the logic behind behind the probability and the information contained in that uh, symbol if the probability is higher the the number of bits will be lesser the lesser the number of bits the lesser the information content so this simple looking for formula has a very simple logic behind it that we need to understand so as to be very very conversant with uh, with finding out the information content of a symbol if the symbols are equally likely uh, then then of course the information content in those symbols will decrease if I have a PCM system with e equal likelihood in a binary format then uh, the information content will be one bit each for zero and one that can be found out uh, by putting a probability of half here for one symbol and half here for the other symbol so I hope this uh, quick introduction on information content of a symbol and its relationship to its probability was of help and if you like the content of this video and uh, the contents of other videos in the same playlist 
then please consider subscribing to the channel you have a good day ahead bye